Scripture Reflection for Friday, August the 6th. Today is the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord Jesus Christ. On this Feast of the Transfiguration, we celebrate that Christ, head of the Church, manifests that His body contains and radiates in the sacraments the hope of glory. We can refer this to number Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 568. The Transfiguration story is recorded in the three Synoptic Gospels almost word for word. Jesus takes his three apostles up a high mountain. He is transfigured, glorified before their eyes. Moses and Elijah appear. Peter speaks. A cloud overshadows them and a voice from heaven. This is my son, the beloved. Listen to him. After this vision, Jesus is there alone with them. This was a very short interval, yet the three apostles become, became aware of Jesus' divinity. He is God, just look at his glory. It was terrific, and they wanted to stay in that situation. Today, Jesus also lives in our midst in a, in a very ordinary ways, ways in which he can only rec we can only recognize him as God through faith. In the gospel, we can recognize him in his divinity speaking to us, but only if we have faith. In the sacraments, he works among us, but if we see him, there, there we need faith. Jesus again lives among us in a very ordinary way, in our fellow people, in our Christ-like attitudes towards one another. We feel his presence in our lives. Truly, we reveal Jesus to one another by the way we think, act, and speak in our daily lives as we encounter each other. We are kind, we let Jesus act through us, thus recognizing the love of Him for us. In this way, we let Jesus continue His transfiguration, His revelation through our own lives, revealing His presence, His glory, and especially His love. It is good for us to be here. Let us offer to him dwellings in our hearts. Blessings, Father Monsieur.